Hello, welcome to Stackable, the all-in-one solution to building stunning websites with the WordPress block editor. Nowadays, you must find ways to make sure that your website stands out among the thousands of websites already existing online. How do you bring your site to life and guarantee that you will snatch your visitors' attention? Well, in this video, we will discuss motion effects and how to use it in Stackable. What is the purpose of website animations? Since web designing has become more competitive through the years, website animation plays a role in attracting new users into your site. Stackable's motion effects. Stackable's motion effects feature allows you to add more life to your site by animating your blocks or the contents of your blocks. You can either animate only your parent blocks or animate your nested blocks together with your parent blocks to achieve greater effects. There are entrance animations and scroll animations options. Entrance animations. The entrance animations trigger when the block comes into view. In this example, we have the stackable feature block using the default layout. If you want to add live to our site by making the text on the left, select the column block on the left containing the text, and then navigate to the Advanced tab where you will see the Motion Effects panel. From there, you will see which type of animation you want. Select Entrance Animation, and a drop-down with Start Position settings will appear. For this example, I want this column to slide down from the top once this block comes to view. So we will set the vertical position to negative 200. We can also adjust the animation speed here. We can make it so so that it won't be easy to miss. And let's add a 0 0.5 second delay. Now let's select the right column with the image. Let's go back to the entrance animation settings in the motion effects panel and this time set the vertical position to 200. This will make the column slide up from the bottom. Follow the same settings for the speed and delay, and this should be good to go. Note that you can click on the device icon to set different animations depending on the device. Afterwards, Let's update our page and check the front end. As you can see, once you load the page and the block comes to view, the animation effects automatically show. You can also set the entrance animation on the whole feature block itself and have other effects such as horizontal position, scale, and rotate. You can set it up any way you want to. Scroll animations. Scroll animations is when the look of the block changes as you scroll through the page and the block goes in or out of view. For this video, let's use the feature block and default layout again. This time, let's add some space at the top and at the bottom so we can better see the scroll animation. Now let's navigate again to the Motion Effects panel, but this time, let's select the Scroll Animation option. A drop-down with Smoothen Scroll Animation and Use 3D Transform settings will appear. You also have the option to choose which entrance animation and or exit animation settings you want to apply to your blocks such as Opacity, Scale, Blur, and more. For this block, I want the blocks to enter from the x-axis and to exit from the y-axis. To do that, let's first select the left column again. Under the entrance animation settings, you will see options such as opacity, translate x, translate y, scale, and more. 
To achieve the effect we want, we should set the translate x to negative 300. Now, let's select the right column and do the same thing. Except, set the translate x to 300. This will make the two columns animate from opposite sides. Let's save this draft and see how it looks so far. Great! As you can see, once you scroll and the blocks come into view, they slide in coming from opposite ends. Now if we continue to scroll down, nothing happens to the blocks yet. This is where we have to set the exit animations. So let's go back to the editor and select the left column again and go back to the motion effects panel. If you scroll down, you will see the exit animation settings. To make this block exit from the Y axis, let's make the translate Y 300. To add more creativity, we can also make the translate X 300 so that as we scroll down, it won't simply just slide down on a straight line. For the right column, let's do the same again, but this time, make the translate Y and translate X negative 300. Let's save our progress and check out the front end. You will see here that as you scroll and the blocks come into view, they are sliding in from the sides. Then as you scroll further, the blocks are exiting vertically. You can also play around with the other engines and exit animations, such as opacity, blur, rotate, scale, and skew X and Y. Combining different animations can add more complexity to your blocks. And there you have it! These are just a few ways you can make use of stackable motion effects to make your site more eye-catching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you need more information regarding Stackable, feel free to join our Facebook community or visit our website. We'll link them down below.